Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag73 channel. As some of you may know, today, May 30th, 2014, marks the first day of a three-day conference at the Marriott Hotel in Copenhagen, Denmark. The annual Bilderberg Group Conference, which is the most important meeting in the world, has begun its 60th annual meeting after having the first in 1954 at the Bilderberg Hotel in Holland. Even though we have such people as the Minister of State of Belgium, to the Governor of the Bank of Canada, Deputy Secretary General of the Presidency in France, CEO of Airbus Group and former CEO of Deutsche Bank from Germany, Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, CEO of Royal Dutch Shell from the Netherlands, Senior Advisor to the CEO of Microsoft Corporation, Executive Chairman of Google Inc. All meeting together in private, there will be almost no publicity and no news coverage from the mainstream media as usual. It's no wonder that Michelle Malkin of Fox News just days ago said that the only people worried about the annual Bilderberg conference are UFO buffs and crazy conspiracy theorists. I mean, what an outrageous thought for 150 of the world's most powerful people to be meeting behind closed doors and actually conspire to do something in secrecy. Down below in the more info section, I am going to place links to the supposed 2014 attendee list, as well as two videos of Diedrich Samson. You see, Diedrich, who is the leader of the Labour Party in the House of Representatives of the Netherlands, decided to come out to the fence and talk to protesters during the meetings today. This may be the first time on record we have ever witnessed such a thing happen. He may have even been in some type of violation of an internal agreement. He spoke about cheap energy, the elderly, GMOs, fracking, the structure of the meetings, and the advantage of having no cameras, which allows people to speak more openly and freely. He also said that he believes more of the members should talk about the meeting like he is doing. Normally, I don't cover the Bilderberg conferences, but I think it's about time that I start. The more people talking about this, the better. I mean, yeah, everyone, they aren't discussing policy at these meetings. They're all discussing their golf swings. I mean, that's what a lot of people would like to have you believe. But I believe that a lot of major policy has been decided in these meetings. And with so many of these politicians and world leaders talking about transparency, it's ridiculous that we have them meeting in secrecy and making policy. On top of that, if you're from the United States, you may want to check out the Logan Act, which makes it a crime for a lot of these people that are from the United States going to these meetings and making deals behind closed doors. So check out the clips below, everybody. I'll talk to you all soon.